Good morning, everyone. The intentions for Holy Mass this morning, in thanksgiving for the graces received through the intercession of Our Lady, for Sister Marie Therese and Sister Bernadette of the Benoni Carmel, as they celebrate today the 60th anniversary of their profession of vows, for Libby, Annie and George, and those who have been recommended to our prayers, for the repose of the souls of Monsignor Jacques Baird, Sister Agnes and Sister Mary Carmelites, and for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. And today is the feast of Our Lady, Mother of Divine Grace. <clears throat> With confidence let us draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace when we are in need of help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are called into the kingdom of God here on earth already. And so let us ask the Lord to cleanse us from all evil, that we may fully participate in this sacrament. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of eternal wisdom, in your providence, you willed that the Blessed Virgin Mary should bring forth the author of grace and take part with him in the mystery of our redemption. May she obtain for us grace in abundance and bring us to the haven of everlasting salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all you men of Judah, who enter these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Amend your ways and your doings, and I will let you dwell in this place. Do not trust in these deceptive words. This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. For if you truly amend your ways and your doings, if you truly execute justice one with another, and if you do not oppress the alien, the fatherless or the widow, or shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not go after other gods to your own hurt, then I will let you dwell in this place, in the land that I gave of old to your fathers forever. Behold, your trust in deceptive words to no avail. Will you still murder, commit adultery? Swear falsely, burn incense to Baal, and go after other gods that you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered, only to go on doing all these abominations. 
has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, I myself have seen it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out to the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord my God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, in which she sets her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you. They walk with ever-going strength. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. Alleluia. Alleluia. Receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Lord Another parable Jesus put before the crowds, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while people were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared also. And the servants of the householder came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then has it weeds? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servant said to him, then do you want us to go and gather them? But he said, no, lest in gathering the weeds, you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So this feast of Our Lady, Mother of Divine Grace, comes on the octave day of the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So it's really a Carmelite feast and a, a, almost like a continuation of the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And uh, it's a feast that uh, the Carmelites have uh, taken the inspiration about the feast from the writings of Saint Louis Marie Grignon de Montfort in his little book, The Secret of Mary. The secret of Mary being that it was Mary who gave life to Jesus, who is himself the author of all grace, and therefore Mary can be called the mother of grace. God the Father, from whom, as from its essential source, 
every good gift and grace comes down to us, gave Mary every grace when he gave her his son. And thus St. Bernard says, the will of God is manifested in, to her in Jesus and with Jesus. And so the tradition in the church has been to respect Mary full of grace and seeing her in a sense something like an administrator or dispenser of the graces that come from God in our lives. That she has a place, therefore, in our spiritual lives. And whatever the theological ins and outs of this are, uh, it is the simplest formula of all that helps us hold together the uh, understanding and the role of Mary in our lives. And that simply is the phrase that we use every day, I'm sure, in the Hail Mary, as we say our rosary. Hail Mary, full of grace. So this fullness of grace is given to Mary in her conception, but also radiated in her life, throughout her life so that everything about Mary is gracious and grace-sharing. Goodness spreads itself. Grace spreads itself. And to be treated gracefully uh, helps us to be graceful in return. And it uh, creates a spiritual atmosphere as the poet said, wherein we can wend and meet no sin. And therefore today we are encouraged on this octave day of Mount Carmel to delight in the grace of God, however it is manifested in our lives. And in particular, to delight in the grace of this moment, the grace of the moment of prayer, and learn from that to be graceful in every moment in our lives, especially in our dealings with one another. May we pray today that through the intercession of Mary, our mother, that we would reflect and radiate the grace of God in us and in everyone else. Amen.
So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Almighty Father, accept our offerings of atonement and praise, and through the working of the Holy Spirit, effect the sacrament of our, of our redemption. May that which Christ our Mediator instituted for our reconciliation with you be for us, through the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a wellspring of grace and an unfailing stream of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. Uh, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we have the courage to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. That you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. Amen.
The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him who hears it say, Come. Let all who thirst come, and let him who desires it accept the gift of life-giving water. Let us pray. Lord God, we have been refreshed at the fountain of salvation. Through the power of this sacrament and the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may a closer union with Christ, our Mediator, fit us to collaborate ever more faithfully in the mystery of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, Defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.